गाइज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्टर इन एनी लिथियम बैटरी बिल्ड सेफ्टी इज द बी एम एस दैट इज द बैटरी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम गाइज आई टोल्ड यू मेनी टाइम्स दैट यू कैन आइदर गेट मीडियम क्वालिटी सेल्स और यू कैन गेट स्मॉलर सेल्स बट नेवर स्किम्प ऑन द बी एम एस ऑलवेज यूज द हाइएस्ट क्वालिटी ऑफ बी एम एस दैट यू कैन अफोर्ड एंड हियर इज सच अ बी एम एस विच वी आर गोइंग टू अनबॉक्स एंड रिव्यू टूडे गाइज This is the all new JK inverter BMS along with communication features. The model number that I have right over here is uh, you can see on the sticker and this particular BMS comes with 1 amp active balancer can handle continuous 150 amps and a surge current of 300 amperes. This uh, this BMS will support from 8 to 16 lithium cells. It will support regular NMC lithium cells as well as lithium ferrophosphate that is lipo 4 cells and lto cells so this is compatible with practically all lithium chemistries out there this kind of bms is also available in a larger variant which is continuous 200 amp variant now jk calls it the all new inverter bms because it comes with a variety of accessories which allows it to communicate with the inverter but for the simplicity sake i just call it the club sandwich bms <laughs> because it comes with a lot of chips and things and accessories along with so let's take a look at the main bms itself then we'll talk a bit about communication and variety of accessories so here is how it looks and guys the build quality is superb this thing comes sandwiched yeah a sandwich that comes sandwiched okay whatever jokes aside this thing comes sandwiched with uh, two thick metal plates which also work as heat sink and it provides very good uh, structural integrity and between these uh, sandwiched plates are the mosfets as you can see over here and they are connected properly using thermal pads there are lots of mosfets inside this if you can check it out if i can zoom in let me try can you see the mosfets yes they are right over here so these are the mosfets that are going to switch things on and off as required or as various safeties are triggered this thing is made up of really nice brushed aluminum and it's like slightly grayish purplish in finish and i think it looks very beautiful guys one of the common complaint that i get with this bms is that oh there are so many accessories and what goes where so what i did is i simply mentioned it over here you can just pause the video and you can take a screenshot what goes where and meanwhile in the video i'm going to explain all of this and what connector is going to go where and here uh, as i have this uh, inverter bms in my hand i can actually see that uh, the quality has gone up yes guys this is my second inverter bms the first one was already reviewed in the hindi video which you can find right over here in the i button or in the video description and i'm already noting that there are some changes which have made this bms better first thing is that this particular coil i heard that uh, there were some incidents on the forums where the coil would you know short out to the body and it would cause problems so this coil now has a shield some kind of plastic covering other than that i can see that the terminals are of higher quality the inverter positive is again better and it comes with a screw type terminal and overall i think that uh, this change has made already solid bms even better okay now let's talk about the accessories that this uh, club sandwich comes with or we can say the kind of chutneys that these uh, club sandwich comes with and here uh, we can see that there are variety of ports let's start with the most basic stuff that you have to connect that is the balance or sense leads now since this inverter supports 8 to 16 cells in series it comes with uh, a bunch of uh, balance leads or sense wires and it also has inbuilt thermocouples so it's going to have four thermocouples inbuilt all right there is going to be one thermocouple on uh, each of this and i as i mentioned in my hindi video i did not like this design because if you are building just an 8s battery pack you will have to uh, connect the band wagon of this cable the mess of this cable you will have to connect it just to use those extra thermocouples because uh, for 8s battery you can just you can just connect two of these 
okay each connector will uh, take signal from four cells so four four eight you can connect this but unless you connect the rest of it you will not get uh, all the thermocouples so i wish that uh, jk had worked on it but unfortunately as we have seen jk never takes any kind of feedback and never is interested in replying any kind of mail or solving any kind of problem and if you want to know uh, more about the uh, problems or issues with jk bms then an english video is available right here where we talked about the inaccuracies and variety of faults with uh, this kind of BMS. Uh, by the way, I'll also test this uh, particular BMS and I'll check it out if they have actually managed to improve the accuracy along with this hardware. So stay tuned and make sure to hit the subscribe button so that latest video can come to you like that. So balance leads and the thermocouples or the NTC thermistors are inbuilt into uh, this particular loom of cable. The other ends are open, so what I did is I brought these uh, lugs so that you can connect it to your battery when you are building the battery. Okay. Then uh, after that what we have is uh, the heating pad. This thing is uh, kind of useless in India. I guess uh, they, they should have provided cooling pads. I have not seen any battery which comes with a cooling pad, but it comes with support for a heating pad and it comes with this uh, little cable uh, right over here which uh, you can plug in like this. And it connects to a dedicated heating pad and there are various settings inside the software which will allow it to activate the heating pad when the battery is below freezing or when the temperature is critically low. So there's that. Other than that, uh, you can see there are these uh, nice uh, thick terminals and these are the main power carrying terminals. There are two of them. This is the B minus. This is where uh, your a battery negative will connect from the lithium cells and this is the P minus. This is where your power will go out to the inverter the main load carrying positive is always direct and it directly goes to the positive but there is a separate positive uh, connector over here and this connector provides power to activate the bms okay it's not going to carry any kind of significant load it's just to make the circuits of this uh, bms operational and again they have updated the design earlier there used to be a small wire soldered over here as you can see in my hindi video but uh, now they have provided this kind of lug and uh, this kind of screw so i think that yeah little changes which i have noticed and they are for the better now let's come to the part which gives this inverter bms its name that is the communication feature guys uh, as you can see here there are variety of uh, ports right over here and this communication features allows the bms to talk to the inverter so you can sync settings you can sync state of uh, charges you can daisy chain variety of inverter bms's in parallel if you are having multiple batteries the bms can talk to each other and to have all of that you are going to need this uh, daughter board again it comes included in the package so this is the daughter board that's uh, going to allow communication and to connect that daughter board it again comes with these flat ribbon cables there's this one and there's this one again so again i can see that the quality has gone up here these cables are now braided they used to be uh, bare cables and there is some glue over here for strength so maybe hardware wise it has gone up but software i don't know it might be still buggy or it might have improved so you guys can stay tuned okay and here is a very important uh, feature of this inverter bms which is relay dry contact guys uh, what are these things are uh, these are three ampere programmable relays which allow you to you know uh, make settings and trigger them according to your settings or according to your will and i've already used these relays to uh, trigger ai smu which you can see right over here in this particular video it allows me to save power and it is allow and it allows me to uh, switch my inverter from mains to battery and once the battery runs out it again go goes back from battery to main so this is a very good feature it can also be triggered using uh, state of charge it can be triggered using uh, different cell voltages it can be triggered using temperature so a lot of options are available i'll try putting a screenshot if it's available and again uh, the relays will communicate uh, to this daughter board as you can see this is the particular connector of the relay and it will connect using these red cables and then you can uh, connect wire to this uh, relay and get the functionality something like that now the next part over here is this uh, display or switch now jk bms comes with uh, three different uh, sizes of display i guess one is two or two and a half inch one is three inch and one is the four inch touchscreen variant and if you don't want to uh, have a display then you can have a switch 
and thankfully with this uh, particular inverter uh, model the switch is uh, free and it is included in the packet so you can just connect this wire here and you can use this switch to turn on the BMS uh, if you install a display again the connector is the same and the display also has an inbuilt switch so the display simply replaces this uh, switch and it has its own switch and it uses the same connector so you can either choose you can have the switch or you can have the display with inbuilt switch so guys overall i guess uh, the quality definitely has gone up it will be really exciting to see what uh, other changes and what other improvements i see with this uh, jk inverter club sandwich style bms guys by the way i have made variety of videos with respect to lithium bms or lithium batteries in general and if you would like to check them out then variety of videos will pop up right here on your screen you can click on any of them and learn something new today that's it for this uh, neat little video guys take care and have a nice day